So in a Jupyter Notebook, we can have a mix of both text or markdown and code. And one of the nice things about this is it gives us a nice report that even people who are non-technical can read and understand. So before we talk about some markdown examples, I just want to show you what it might look like in a complete report. So in this notebook, I'm looking at employee attrition. And at the top, I've got quite a bit of markdown providing the reader with some explanations to what I'm doing and how I broke down my analysis. And then as I go through the notebook, scattered throughout the code, I've got markdown, again, just guiding the reader through the code and the outputs. And so I've got a nice mix of that. And just as a note, this markdown is different from comments in my code. So I've got comments within the code cells explaining what that's doing, but I've got that markdown or that text just providing the reader with more background information and actually interpreting some of the charts and some of the output that I've got. So we want to make sure we have a good mix of those things throughout our Jupyter Notebook. Now, if you want to follow along, a link to the Google Colab Notebook will be on this page. Google Colab is just essentially a Jupyter Notebook in the cloud. Now, the first thing that I want to make sure of is that I'm using text cells and not code cells. So I've got a text cell here. And what I want to show you first is how to create headers, like the title of your report. And so to do that, you're going to put a, or use a number sign. And as you add more number signs to it, it's going to decrease the size of your header. So I'm seeing header one, header two, and header three here. Now on the right-hand side here, it's actually showing me a preview of what this might look like when I run this cell. So I'll go ahead and run this cell, and I see then the, the format, formatted output here. Now let's talk about how to create some other markdown. So this is how you would designate bold text, and then italic text. And then if you want to insert a link, what you're going to do is put the title for that link in these brackets. And then in parentheses afterwards, you're going to put the URL for the link. And then if you want to write code or format code, you're going to use these ticks inside your text inside your ticks. Or if you want to block a uh, quote, you're going to use that greater than sign there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and run this and it'll produce my result for me. And also, if you want to use lists or bullets, you just do it this way. One, two, three in this example. Or bullets, you're going to use dashes. Now remember, markdown is different from co uh, code and also comments in our code. So in our code, we've got a code cell. To insert a comment, we're going to write it that way. And then we'll put our code after it. Again, so we've got text cells and code cells. We want to make sure we've got the right one when we're creating that markdown. 